What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys is going to be tank. A, lo a lot of you guys apparently, for some reason, disagree with me on the fact that tanks are really good. I didn't think that that was a far out there thought. I kind of figured that most people were in conclusion on that because most of the people that I talked to agree with me on that. But a lot of my comments said that you guys didn't think tanks were busted. So what we're going to do today, we're going to play some tanks. And I'm going to show you guys just how broken they are. Because the Fire Blossom specifically, but all the tank items that scale off of HP are very, very strong right now. And I'm going to show you guys just how strong they can be. I'm going to join the dark side for one video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Before we hop into it, I will say I am currently sponsored by HelloFresh. So for about the next month, you guys can use my code, which is it's flashing up here, but I'll post the code and the link. In the description and in a pinned comment down below just so that you guys can see it and you guys can go it's 60 or 65 percent off uh for your until you get 21 free meals is kind of how it works it'll space it out over a couple of weeks so that you get your 21 free meals over like two weeks but it, it comes out to like 65 percent off so it's a really good deal it's free shipping as well us only unfortunately but a really really good deal it helps me out a ton so if you guys want to go do it go hit it it's i i really enjoy them it's it's free meal prep so they come all packaged to your door and then you just have to make them they come with the recipes and everything i really enjoy it so let's see we are going to play we do have a crunch support very epic i think we're gonna play richter i think richter and severog are both pretty strong for this build richter severog and steel are obviously kind of the top three for this build that I'm going to go. The reasoning being that they're, they deal magical damage already, so like Flux Matrix, which is an item in this build, has a lot of value. It, it makes them very, very strong. Okay, so on this build, you can go two things. In the solo lane especially, you can go, uh, where is it? Titan Crest into any of these. <laughs> These are all actually pretty good. Razorback, I think, is the best. In my experience, I like Razorback the best, but War Boots is very uh, under underestimated. If you guys are on a team without a lot of healing, the enemy team's not building anti-heal, War Boots are really, really good. This game, I am going to go into the Occult Crest because the, the issue with a lot of these is that the Crests have penetration on them. So this, I'm going to go into Tempest. It's only going to give me 15 power gonna give me a bunch of health it's gonna give me a bunch of sustain but it also has eight magic penetration on it which is going to benefit everything we are going to to be doing to people we're doing magic damage tempest does magic damage fire blossom does magic damage flux matrix increases magic damage you can kind of see where this is coming i'm gonna end this build do i have magical power okay so you don't have base magical power it's just from this i'm gonna end this build with like 60 magical power without before before fang tooths or anything and i'm going to be able to 100 to zero people straight up that is just that's how this stuff works this is going to be a super boring lane uh because it's a steel you guys if you guys have played the game recently you guys know what steel does you know how annoying he is you guys probably hear me complain about him a lot because i hate that character but uh we're gonna see what we can do here just trying to farm up our fire blossom as fast as possible as soon as we get Brimstone online, our clear gets considerably better. And once that clear gets better, then we are able to actually, like, clear and rotate rather than just stuck here clearing. Richter's clear is pretty good to begin with. I'm gonna be... Okay, there's their Kalari. Their Kalari invaded. Did you get it? Not sure. Their Kalari invaded our red. That's where she came from. I'm gonna take my silence here you can take your hook at level two for more kill potential i'm gonna take my silence for better clear and uh poke value so you can see he just tried to bash me we know he's gonna do it again we know their kalari's on red so i'm just gonna back up a little bit this wave should push back my way you guys can get xp from waves from very far So like right here i'm gonna get xp from these creeps the gold it doesn't matter if you guys lose uh half a wave of gold especially in solo lane it, it does not do anything you guys don't 
just don't don't walk up and die as long as you're getting xp and you're still you're gonna stay on levels with someone it's totally fine it's totally fine like i'm not i'm not worried about this at all he's level three so i'm not gonna fight him like but if, if he put as soon as he this pushes back my way okay again he just did 10 damage to me through my passive as soon as this pushes my way i can hold it on my tower and then we are good this is the gross way to play solo lane there's a reason i don't play solo lane and this is this is pretty much it actually like <laughs> Oh, let me let me sit on my tower line for the next 10 minutes because that's how long you can hold waves in this game like i don't i just i don't think this this way of playing is fun people ask me all the time in in the comments etc on my videos and streams like bro why don't like why aren't you holding a wave like it's a casual game man i'm not why would i hold a wave in a casual game like i don't i don't care that much I'm doing it here to show you guys what to do. This is this is how you should play this. Because this steel now has missed an entire wave. I'm going to put two points into my E. I like to do this on Richter. I like to put two points into my E and then I max the... I, you can max the Q or the right click, honestly. It doesn't really matter. So now this is a little more even. So I'm going to box with him a little bit here. He should win this boxing match if he's playing well okay, he just got hooked into the tower i got a really good body block on him there i think i kill this guy really no no i missed Okay, that was that was unfortunate. I figured the Kalari was coming. I got a little bit baited. Early game kills in this game. It's that wasn't first blood. That's not gonna do anything. He's go. He is two creeps up on me. He's gonna have a fire blossom as well. Uh, this is just going to be a stalemated lane. Should I have gone in? Probably not. I got his blink as well. I didn't blink in that. I should have killed him. I missed the hook. But now I've got Brimstone online. So now, now that we have free damage, what is this? 20 damage increased by 50%. Also, that's the other thing about these builds that are a little ridiculous. Is that Fire Blossom does bonus damage to uh, to creeps. Well, to, to jungle monsters. To like Fangtooth and stuff, your tank actually does damage to Fangtooth. Which is a, a little odd. I don't know why they why they do that. I'm gonna call missing here. I think he might be trying to go to mid. No, he's not. What does he have? Yeah, just brimstone. So we're even right now. He's gonna dash through me because that's how all steals do this. <laughs> they think that as soon as they can get any poke on you, they should. But. Uh, a lot of them don't know how to land their abilities. Steel Dash is actually very easy to dodge if you guys are waiting for it. So don't be afraid to kind of uh, bait it out. He's going to use it at every wave. Like, watch this. He's going to walk up and he's going to wait for me to jump to go clear creeps and then he's going to dash me. Like, that, that shit, that's every wave for these Steel players. I don't know how this is fun for these guys. I just got my ult. I'm gonna kill him. So on Richter, ultimate is a free hook. There's a very small window where if they are on the edge of your ult range, they can blink away before the hook can hit them. But that's about the only way that they can get out is by a blinking. We hit level six there before him because we held those waves under tower. He didn't get anything from those. So we were able to get a little bit of a lead. Which just lets us kill him for free right there. So again, that that kill that came out earlier, he got the assist on it. But that kill earlier just doesn't do anything to us. It just, like, it really, it, if you cannot, unless it's affecting your mental, those early kills don't do anything. He's going to hit level 6 here, but I don't think it matters. We see the Kalari's still in mid. So I have three points in my uh, E. Oh, Bellic is here. Okay, I honestly was not expecting that one.
I'm just gonna blink away. She can blink ult me here if she wants, but... Okay. That was the Kalari ult for me. I'm, I knew the Kalari was coming. She's going Terminus. I, I, I wouldn't go uh, crit on Kalari. Me personally, I don't like the build. I don't think it's quite as strong. Do you have a crunch support? Going support. Honestly, I don't care what you play in support if you play support. We do have a Fire Blossom finish. This guy shouldn't. No, he he's not even close. So, now we are going to clear as much as we can. The rest of my team is really far behind for some reason. My guy in mid is 0-2. He's still farming well. He shouldn't really be that far behind. So now we have we have Fire Blossom online. I think I will go double Fire Blossom this game. Okay, I was looking for Steel, but I don't think he's over there. I think I will go to this, though. They're all really low, so if they try to do Fangtooth here, it's going to be really risky. Okay, that's a good kill from Howie. The Fire Blossom here is going to give us a lot of extra damage. You guys will see it once we get into this fight. Fire Blossom does bonus damage to uh, CC'd targets as well. Hard CC'd targets take bonus damage. So you can see Fire Blossom just killed that guy. He's going to kill this guy too. Bang Tooth actually killed that guy. Your E gives you movement speed on Richter, so don't be afraid to use it to move around. It's another reason I don't like to max it out first, because then you're using your damage as, as movement. Murdoch Blink. Early game solo lane rotations uh, are really good also, by the way. I have no idea where their steel is. Okay, he's back in solo lane. Now we just back. Free 2k in hand from a little swift rotation. Double kill. Uh, again, fire blossom. Physical defense. I'm, I have a second brimstone online. We're going to go straight into flex matrix this game. If I was against... If I was against a physical solo laner, if I'm playing against a Grux here, I'd probably go a physical armor item. I'd probably go Tainted Guard against a Grux. This game, I'll probably go Dynamo after I finish my Flux Matrix. Dynamo's really good, shreds protections. Uh, really good at helping you your team kill even tanky targets that you CC. So you can just see how much damage I'm able to do. And I have 12 power. Gonna call missing. I don't know where this guy is. I kind of don't think he's rotating to that, but he could be because I rotated to the last one. He could think that I'm there again. And I actually am going to be there again. An he is there. Tower is under attack. So I've got the double auras coming into this fight. I kind of ended up just maxing my E. I really shouldn't have. I think I'm probably on a ward. I'm gonna check this. Okay, they are doing this. They're here. My my Kalari's nowhere to be found. It's gonna take them a long time to do this, but they're here. I'm getting I'm getting ready to to engage because my Howie's coming. So even this steel is not scary to me. Yep, there's a silence. Trying to pop health pots early. You want them to be ticking the whole time. Got him. I should be able to clean up here, actually. Like, really well. Nice kill from my Drongo, getting, getting the Murdoch. Health pots. Crunch. He's diving. He shouldn't have. I'm gonna take this blue. The other thing, again, Fire Blossom, you can see how much damage my Fire Blossom is doing to this. 85 plus the 30 from the Brimstone. So I'm doing over 100 damage a second to that blue buff. I clear that blue buff probably faster than their jungler clears that blue buff right now. We did not get the Fangtooth, which stinks. 
but we cleaned up the fight afterward, and I am big. Grabbing the Tempest, like we said. And now we go back to lane to farm a little bit. You can see, even though I'm rotating a lot, I'm able to... I'm, I'm ahead in farm on the steel. I'm even in... I'm a, a level up on him still. Even though we're rotating, we're still getting our solo lane farm. And a big part of that is Fire Blossom. I don't have any damage, but I'm able to... How, look, how, look how fast I clear this wave. I'm not even I'm not even autoing the wave. Our Kalari's here. You should just take teal and leave. I don't really know why she's here. She doesn't need to be. I don't really die to this steel. I don't even think I die to their jungler. She probably does not need to be here. I'm gonna ward this. And I'm gonna start looking to take jungle camps. Yeah. Because their their Kalari is spending a lot of time in lanes right now. She's gang. She's been ganking a lot, which means I should be able to get that camp. You see how fast I clear that camp? Again, I clear that camp faster than their jungler clears that camp right now. One hundred percent. The double the double fire blossoms are just really strong. Who is their mid laner? Okay, it, it should be Bellica mid, right? Yeah, Richter's support. Okay. I just saw Bellica in, in duo lane. I was like, wait a second. There's no way that's their that's their uh, support. It is not. So we're going to clear another wave and grab our Flux Matrix. Flux Matrix is a huge power spike for us. It like it it nearly doubles your damage. I don't know the exact math on it, but it's it's something like double like close to doubling your damage. I know it says 15%, but it it's a crazy power spike. So let's see. I'm I'm levels up on everyone because I'm a solo laner. I'm really big. Now I'm tanky. I have I have 35 armor from this. This doesn't give power, by the way. So I still have I have 15 magical power. Uh next item I think will be the dynamo. I think I'm going to be glad that I have a dynamo. I'm just gonna poke this guy a little bit. Again, flex matrix, that damage increase. She just dropped 20 gold for me. That damage increase from Flex Matrix, it affects all your magical damage on a character like this. I'm just going to ult this guy because I can 100 to 0 him. Just like that. 15 power didn't use my Tempest. Howie did a little damage there. I, I 100 to 0 that guy without my Howie. He's stuck in my E, so he's taking all that damage. I'm ulting him into it. So he, while he's in my ultimate, he's taking double damage from my Fire Blossoms. Because they do multiple damage. They do more damage against immobilized targets. Meaning targets that are hard CC'd. So stunned, rooted. In my case, I believe they are... It is It is a... I don't know what it's called. Richter's ult is a different CC. I don't know exactly what it's called. This guy's a tank, by the way. This guy's a tank. He, he has a fire blossom and he's going into moon boots. And I just half hit him. No Tempest. Haven't used my... Haven't popped my Tempest. Again, we're just going to clear this very easily. With all of our AoE free damage for building tank. We see our Kalari. Damn, did he... I don't know if he knew he... If, if he knew that my Kalari was there. But I'm going to ping attack Fang Tooth. I'm going to go to that. I'm just going to go straight to that. My Kalari's on their red, or in their red jungle. I would like to see my Kalari make her way over here. Did they lane swap? <laughs> Did Belica and Murdoch lane swap? That would actually be hilarious. I kill both of these guys. I, I, wish I, I wish I could check Fang, but I can kill these guys. So I'm going to. Okay, that doesn't... This guy killed himself by hooking me. This guy has not juked. Some, a lot of the time, you can just scare people with Richter by walking at them, okay? A lot of people don't really, like...
Okay, died to Fire Blossom. A lot of people really, really are scared of that hook. This guy probably should be. I'm gonna pop my Tempest. Lots of damage. This guy has... Gosh. <laughs> look, how much, look how much damage I do. This is the power that you can get building these tanky solo laners. And watch this. I even have good objective damage. The Kalari's too low. She can't come to this. But look at my objective damage. I, I'm killing this as fast as, uh, I don't know, a Rampage right now would. Which is to say, not super fast, but like a lot more than someone with 15 power should probably do to this. And we back with another free 1500 gold. I'm huge. This is the power of rotating out of the solo lane and this tank build. It, it, it's a it's a wombo combo. It's like a it's like a perfect storm. A solo laner that leaves and this this OP damage build. Once we get Dynamo, we'll be shredding armor from people that we hard CC. And then let's see what else do we need. Uh, we'll probably go Void Helm this game. You could go Curus for a little bit more damage, which might be what I do. Well, I lied. Maybe I go on Broken Will. And then late game, you sell the, you do sell the Brimstone late game. You keep the Fire Blossom, sell the Brimstone. So I think I will go Curus. Maybe I go, no, maybe I go Unbroken Will, Raiment of Renewal, just for the HP. Probably in the other order. I'll probably go Raiment after this, um, after this, uh, whatever this is, Dynamo. Dynamo Raymond. Which, Raymond, 600 HP is just going to buff up all of our damage. Because again, all of our damage right now is scaling off of health. Richter uses this even better because his E also scales off of maximum health. It does more damage based on your HP. So, you get even a little bit more value on Richter. Same like Steel gets a little bit more shield off of this. This creep probably isn't even worth it for me to clear. This takes so long. Okay, so once we grab Dynamo, we'll go Raymond. It'll give us a crazy amount of health. This guy just dashed. I don't really care about his move boots. It's gonna be really annoying here. I know he doesn't have dash for another three seconds. Elica through the wall. I'm gonna pop a health pot because their team might all be getting here. Oh, just bell. Again, I hundred to zero bell. If I hook Tempest ult, uh, E silence, right? She's dead. If I if I drop my kit on any of their squishies, they die. One hundred percent. No, none of the squishies on their team can survive my my entire kit getting dumped on them. The steel, okay, let's be clear. Even the steel might not survive my entire kit getting dumped on him. He doesn't have very much magical defense. So, well, we will have to try. The, this guy's going for this late game. This is the Bellica going for this late game Azure Core resolution build that I don't really like. Just don't think it's that good. Like, it's it's a fun build, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's that great. Serenity. I'm gonna back for this dynamo. This is a pretty big power spike. And then I think I'm gonna make my way over to right lane again. So now we go Raymond. Yeah, these guys are getting kind of bopped over here. They're really deep. Crunch grabs a kill. What's his build? Okay, he has a he has a bad support build. The Sanctification Frost Guard is okay. The Basilisk is not. Okay, we're gonna see if we can save this guy. We're gonna Tempest early here. Look how, look how little damage I'm taking. Look how, look how, da look how much damage they're just straight up not doing to me. I really want to get on this Bellica. Gilder. Dude, this guy's just dying to Fire Blossom the whole time. I'm alive. That was two people on me for that long, and I literally just lived. I just lived. Okay, Murdoch is coming up, so I'm actually going to move. Make sure I'm out of line of sight so that I don't get random sniped. 
Uh, yeah, I just, I just live there. All right, I'm so tanky. I wasn't even hitting the steel, dude. He was just dying. I want to know. I wish I knew how much damage steel just took from Fire Blossom. Because Fire Blossom and Brimstone had to have done a thousand damage to that steel in that fight. I just straight up soul. I, 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 I killed the, I killed the Murdoch too. Like, so it was sort of a 1v3. That guy's pretty far behind and I insta-killed him. So it doesn't matter. But I straight up 1v2, two full health dudes who are even in this game, by the way. They are not, it's not like those guys are, are level five. I'm pinging this, this Fangtooth because I just need to make sure my team is, is, is here. I've got everything up again. My Tempest is back. My ult is back. Everything. I don't know how I have so many people in my comment section telling me how weak tanks are. Like, come on, man. This is this is so strong. Okay, they're they're gonna if they walk into this, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend. My crunch should be the one doing this, but Yeah, that was a good ult from this Richter, actually. That was actually a really smart ultimate. I'm trying to get around the corner here a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with Tempest. Okay, not who exactly who I wanted to hook there. These guys are just going to die to Fire Blossom. My Drongo's also shredding at this point, so that's nice. I think we just get a free right inhib off of that. And I'm full health, by the way. I'm still, I'm still full health. I blinked in there because the Richter was doing a really good job of keeping me off of the squishies. Um, orb... My Drongo just asked if we do orb. I don't think so. He, he uh, we were on the wrong side of the map. So the issue with early with early orb calls is that if you're on the right, if you win a fight at Fangtooth and you're trying to get prime, you have to walk all the way across the map. By the time my Drongo got there, these guys were going to be able to contest this. So we don't quite get an inhib maybe we could have gone for prime again it's if they run straight to prime they have time to get there that's that's the issue i'm gonna take this i see the kalari these guys aren't pushing out in the right lane so i'm gonna take this i'm surprised this guy's here no that dang i didn't think it would kill i thought he was gonna leave it on one health that's a, that's one of those situations where there's there's almost no good call, right? You win a fight, but it's too early in the game, so the respawn timers aren't gonna let you get an inhib. If if our whole team was there, I think we could have gotten an inhib. But uh, either way, if we go prime, you're risking them being able to get there and steal it. So it's 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 kind of a, a coin toss. I like the if we if my Drongo stays with us and right, I, I'm pretty confident we get the inhib. We got it fairly low with just the the two of us. And it's a full tank Richter. And she's dead. I was gonna say she's gotta be death marked. I still killed this guy. Watch this. I have 15 power. I'm gonna hunter to zero this dude. What? Did he just jump over my ultimate? That's so sad. I used my Tempest too. I don't know why he came back. He's dead. Oh, how I wish I had a blink. Unfortunate. The triple jump got her out. But you can see how I literally out-trade her. I'm just straight up out-trading her right there. I whiffed my ultimate and then she came back and I still out-traded her. These builds are just nutty. I how much def I have 200 I have 200 physical defense. I have 200 physical defense. And I'm able to s s solo kill a Kalari. These builds are insane. This is the if I were to coin like a win every game build, this would be the build. And then last item here, I think I'm going to go there are two good items. Unbroken Will and Void Helm are both really good. Uh, I think I'm going to go Void Helm this game because it just gives so much more health. How much does Brimstone sell for? It sells for 900. So I'm going to hang on to it for a bit. Because getting like a tier 2 Void Helm here doesn't really do anything for me. Enemy tower 
I really, uh, I, I would like to just wait for the whole thing. So I need 2,200 gold to get my Void Helm online. Next Fang is big. Yes, it is. That's my team's call right there. Next Fang is big. It is indeed big. Yes. Okay, we see the Bellica, and she's uh, she has a lot of their crowd control. I'm going to see if I can go kill someone over here. We know Kalari. Well, she she has her ult back. I was going to say, she doesn't have an ult, but she does have an ult. I don't know if she went... She must have gone jungle. I was gonna say I don't know if she if she would if she'd actually loop away, but my whole team was there, so she probably actually left. Yeah, we're we're pretty hard grouped on this. Our Kalari's not here for some reason. Okay, don't get hooked, boys. Okay. Yo, kill that. Silence out of the epoch. Look, this guy. Your skill rises. Okay. That's, that's a that's a good save from this from the Richter. I'm just gonna ult that dude because he's the only one that can kill anyone on my team. Everyone else is running away anyway. This Fangtooth is big. We could push, we could get an inhib here. But this is Fangtooth number three for us. So we really need this just so important to get those early fang dudes okay i'm gonna keep this leashed i don't have a jungler not not alive at the moment so i'm just gonna keep this leashed <laughs> okay that one was kind of that one's kind of a kill steal that, that one was a bit of a kill steal i can uh, i can probably stick around no i'm good i'm gonna i'm just gonna back Okay, oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 what's going on over here? We got some homies doing, doing prime. This is, this is not a good call, guys. If, if part of your team is not on the same page, big objectives are kind of out of the question. So this is going to work because, okay, I guess my crunch is, is it maybe a little tankier than I thought? The Vanguardian, maybe my Drongo does, does more damage. I wouldn't, I would never recommend splitting up like that for an objective. Oh no. This sells for 850, not 900. Uh, I'm really tempted to wait for this. This is a pretty big power spike. I'm going to wait for it. I, do, I wouldn't recommend this either, but I my math was incorrect, so I'm going to wait for it. I wouldn't split up Fangtooth and Orb like that when the enemy team has three people alive. Probably not a great call. We got a little lucky that they came to neither of them. They didn't try to contest either of those right there. All right, so we've got our stuff up. We should go. We should go mid, and someone should split left. Is kind of how this goes. So prime empowers minions, so it makes it so that anyone can split push. So like, I'm gonna push mid, and I want my team to go left. So I'm gonna type, I go mid, you go left. That's what I'm gonna type here. So I have right now. I have 4,400 health. My shield puts me up to 5,000. And uh, I'm still... I have 16 magic power with Fangtooth number 3. I have, I'm up to 16 magic power. Uh, I do have Prime, so one-shotting someone right now uh, seems a little obvious. But I can do it. I have three people staring at me. They should get a left tower for free. Hopefully my Kalari can win that 1v1. He's 1v1ing the enemy Kalari right now in our jungle. Enemy towers destroyed. Again, so I'm watching them. I want them to push up, and then I can walk in here. So I'm gonna, just going to kill this guy. That guy just whiffed. I, I tempested there, and I didn't need to. I thought that guy would be it would put up a little more resistance. I have so much regen right now. So again, I'm waiting. I'm wait. I'm watching left. I'm drawing someone out of left lane right now. Is what I'm doing by standing in mid. Okay. 
She thinks she's doing something. She really, like, I'm really not even too scared. She can't super kill me. She can't kill me very easily, at least. Is she immune? Is she, is she CC immune? Because I did damage with that. Or at least I think I did damage. Either way. Again, the Kalari just opened her whole kit on me and did, like, half of my health. So, there you see it. 13, 2, and 11 from full tank. I have 16 power at the end of this game. 16. with That's with three fangs. I have 15 power out of my build. Only my starter item gives me power. I'm still able to 100 to 0 the entire enemy team. All right, okay, maybe outside of their tanks. I'm able to 100 to 0 any of the backliners on the enemy team. That's the power of these tank builds. All right. They're very strong. Fire Blossom definitely needs a nerf. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Dynamo probably needs a nerf. Both of those do damage based on your max HP. They're too strong. Fire Blossom does not need to do double damage to objectives. It does not need to do double damage to CC targets. It's crazy. Very strong items. If you want to win games, just build full tank, guys. It's as easy as that. That's all I've got for you guys, so thank you guys for watching this one. If, as always, use my HelloFresh sponsorship. That's all I've got for you guys. So as always, I've been Pinzo. This video's done, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.